Wait, what happens to nutrients after they're absorbed by the small intestine? Minecraft Science. Today, I am covering what happens to nutrients after being absorbed by the villi in the small intestine. This will partially feature a lot of different subjects, like the digestive system, the circulatory system, and inside a cell, also fully featuring the excretory system. So here we are in the small intestine. You know what's going on here from my last video, so let's move on. The glass portals represent variations in size, as seen in here. The nutrients get absorbed into the bloodstream by the villi. Here we can see the capillary transporting nutrient poor blood to be turned into nutrient rich blood. After going through this artery, we go into the cell. Here is another glass portal to show that we are shrinking the sea inside the cell in detail. As we enter the cell, there is a lot going on. Ribosomes hold genetic information. Vacuoles are storing sugars for use by the mitochondria, with the nucleus controlling it all. All these processes produce waste products. As we come over here, we can see a Golgi body getting rid of some of these wastes. As we go through another glass portal, we enter another artery. Here, the water equals waste products from all the nearby cells. As we go through this artery, we enter the kidneys, where wastes are filtered from blood and are mixed with water ready for expulsion. Going through all the parts in the kidney would probably take 20 minutes, and I've basically summarized what all the parts do, so let's move on. The ureters are the tubes connecting the bladder to the kidneys. The bladder holds urine until expulsion. Note that instead of urine pouring in all at once, it comes in pulses. When we need to release the urine, there is a very small difference between males and females. In females, the external sphincter relaxes, emptying the bladder. In males, there is an internal sphincter. This doesn't affect the amount of time a male can hold it, as I'm going to call it. Because the internal sphincter is a smooth muscle, or a muscle that is part of an organ. In this case, the muscle is part of the bladder. Smooth muscles are also atomatic. After passing the internal sphincter, the urine goes about two more inches and then is expelled through an ex external sphincter. 